Hi friends, it's summer and this is time to do a slow word together. I don't think I have ever done one verse at a time I uh, hear at the Slow Word Movement or in a Lectio Divina. I, I've done Lectio Divinas where I've taken a scripture in a theme from different parts of the Bible, but um, I, I've never done just one at a time and just left it there. Um, but Jeremiah 2.13 is really connecting with me strong, and I think you'll see why that is. Um, it's one of those verses that uh, constantly speaks to me and reminds me that um, even though I might not think that uh, I am sinning, quote unquote, but by my trying to create life where there is no life, it is a way of forsaking um, the truth and the life that God has planned for me already. I am saying no to his abundant life and trying to create it on my own. So um, that's uh, what the verse is saying to me. I look forward to hearing what it says to you as well. Um, go ahead and take some deep breaths and get your heart ready to receive the seed of the word. Let all the worries of the day just slide right off. And think to yourself, rest. One of my favorite things to think of as I am breathing deep and getting ready for the word is, I choose to be right here in this place in this time, receiving from the Lord, choosing the present moment. One more deep breath. And then breathe it all out. And then invite the presence of the Lord into your space. Come. Lord Jesus, come. I'm going to read the verse three times in this first time just to get familiar with it. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water. And have dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. This time when you listen, I want you to listen for a word or phrase that feels important for you. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me the spring of living water. And to have dug their own cisterns. Broken cisterns that cannot hold water.
Allow that word or phrase to come up between you and the Lord. This time when you listen, I want you to ask yourself, what is a broken cistern in my life? What is not working? What is allowing the living water to just soak, seep on through that doesn't hold the living water? What is broken? My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water. And have dug their own cisterns. broken cisterns that cannot hold water. Allow that word about what is broken to come up between you and the Lord. Let's pray. Lord, we so often run to all kinds of other things, thinking that they will provide for us. They will provide the refreshment that we want. And so we ping pong from one thing to another, looking for life. And then we try to hold that life, what little life we get, in broken wells. And the water just seeps through. Thank you that you are the spring of living water. Show us what is broken and draw us back to true refreshment, I pray, in Jesus Christ's name. And Lord, the seed that's been planted today, may it be watered and grow in the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessings, friend.